Um, so I'm going to chill in quarterfinal room one, by the way, regardless of how people shift around for now. Uh, we'll have the winner's playoffs in this room. So we can anything. already move to the other room? Yes, and I'll, I'll uh, get the muting and deafening already started because we have, we're basically trying, I think in five minutes if we can start, that'd be great. <clears throat> All right, have fun, everyone. Well, didn't even leave me time to say good luck, have fun. <laughs> okay. Well, our goal is to get started in the next five minutes. Yeah, Transcendent is definitely a pretty OP unit. Pair it with that, uh, with that broken upgrade of Summon Sap 4. And every time you summon the Transcendent, you will get more and more Sap every turn. So that's pretty crazy. Remnant, traditional, exiled Wormkin. I am looking forward to this. Yeah, imps, imps overall definitely benefited from the DLC, which is pretty crazy considering they were um, already quite strong. <sighs> Rector, thanks, silly. I'm gonna need it. Chances for an early hellout hall, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, I wonder. Honestly, why doesn't hellout hall have consume? <laughs> well, it doesn't. But it kind of feels like the card sh The card looks like it should have consume, just doesn't. Uh, yeah, Rector Flicker. He's not the strongest champion in the bunch, but there are a few things that work really well with him. I think Harvest is a particularly strong uh, option. But oftentimes with him, I might be building around my other units more so. So I could see myself going Burnout burn bright path to get the early game support that I want from him and then let my other units take over from there or reform him it's also an option well, or, or even both uh, use him as a support unit early get my other unit set up reform him later just to keep the support going weakening the enemies taking out like one frontliner at a time so I have less to worry about um, I'm not sure about Dark Calling. I think it's a strong option, but you really need the right stuff to make it work. And that might be duping, like starting with uh, drafts, maybe something like that. Zelda cards can be can definitely inform a, uh, inform a remnant build. Yeah, for sure. Like. Drafts, we could have drafts in our starter cards as an extreme example. Okay, looks like we are going here. Let's see, we have Fatal Melting, Echo Infusion and Hello Drippings. I do like Hello Drippings quite a lot recently. <sighs> we have Consume Seraph, we need to keep that in mind. Fell is armor, which is probably the easiest fell most of the time, but can leak some damage early on. Daedalus with double explosives, much happier with that than Arcus. Fate's first blade. Tempting. But there's also a capricious reflection very early. I'm gonna go with the Fate's first blade. I really like the damage scanning from that. Um, there is Burn Bright and there is Accumulator around here. These are my primary picks. With the hello drippings, I think we have to go burn bright, right? We don't have reform yet, which is a bit of an issue with health. 
If we don't find reform, that can be a serious problem. Well, we will find reform, right? They're all... Uh, Harvest could work quite well. It's definitely a solid pick for the early game, but it makes it hard not to take damage early. I'm gonna go for the burnout. I will take the shards, as I always do. <laughs> Limbo Capricious Reflection, you would never turn that down. I... That absolutely makes sense. It's hard to turn down. Well, so much for not taking damage on the uh, first wave. We already let that train pass. But I think it's worth it for the early gold. I was hoping to get the other uh, the other hello drippings to save my drag style. Uh, I will get the I already played both. So we only have one drag ready. Do wanna kill you? Set up you in the mid floor, you can maybe do some damage, and we don't use reform. I got both first turn, okay. And luckily our burn bright Rector is strong enough. I love Fate's first blade. Draft versus Wicked Blaze. I want both of them, but I think Wicked Blaze is more important. Echo Transfer with Infused. That's damage scaling. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's worth balancing out charts with skipping trials a little more. That does make sense, yes. General. Kinda wanna cost re find a cost reduction for weaker plays pretty early and try for holdover. Uh, I feel like Wormkin Banner is not what we are supposed to go for. We didn't pick the draft. I am gonna... Well, let's look at the uh, this one first. Golden Vault. There is no way we turn that down, right? That is just never take damage again. That is great for score. Until we die. But even then it's still great for score. I want this to matter when we play it. There is the holdover on Wicker Blaze I really wanted. Do I buy a cost reduction for an echo break? What's our shops on the next floor? We might go there, we might not. Uh, I'm gonna cost reuse and echo break. Yeah, yeah, trials don't give extra score, so I don't always have to take them. This one should be fine. We will get enough uh, damage with the Fate's First Blade out of our drafts, uh, drags. Definitely wanna be on the top floor again. We have to play this just to hold it over. Um, candy on the top floor does matter. We... Probably doesn't matter too much. Missed that collector spawning there. We will be able to put a draft down on the top floor to prevent us from taking damage. We have to reform Flicker next turn.
That guy doesn't have extinguish, so he doesn't matter too much, but... Like, I'm glad that wasn't my first fight where I draw... Uh, I didn't draw like this in the first fight. That could have been a disaster otherwise. We have to fight with constant Ember Drain here. Which is very annoying. Let's get a beefed up draft and get those ready to fight. And we should be good here. The Fates Phelps Blade is a very strong scaling option. Molden and Wicklash and Purifying Cleanse. I want all of these. I would literally pick the entire pack here. Feel like Wicklash is what we need most. Shelter, Hosting Kin, Echo Infusion. I'll skip. None of these really excite me. Lady of the Reformed. For Chrysalis. We Bok Chrysalis is a bit hard to take, but it's potentially powerful. I think we want Lady of the House over Lady of the Reformed here. And I will take a lady. I do like my ladies on the train. <laughs> they are pretty useful, especially in the early game. Do we want to go for an upgrade here? We won't be able to play with drafts. Well, that's not entirely true. I think the left side is better. Utility overall. Mole Bracers. There's also Traitor's Quill. We have Hello Drippings with Consume. Get mold braces and then do we have anything here to do? Lady of the house in a draft? Mm, probably not. Extreme stone probably not either. I'm not sure if I want to do a sack here. But I think, I think I will actually get a train steward onto a drag. Get the extra stats and get a steward out there. Yeah, Bok Chrysalis is extremely strong in general in Remnant. But I feel like what we currently have, first of Kin. Kin Horse Carapace. Why didn't I look at this first? Pinot's Carapace could be a good essence. I'm gonna go with a Strength Stone on the draft, uh, drag. I don't think we really need these. The attack one could be good, but I'd rather keep it out of my deck. Now the question is, do we want to be on the bottom floor to give us more time to use reform to fight the boss? Or do we just assume that we will be strong enough anyways? Kino's Carapace would essentially be resin block for you. Yes, it. I've thought about that. The problem with it is the fact that we... I don't think I play both Hello Drippings here. And I think I do set up on the bottom floor so I can reform higher up. For one unit and... Uh, we don't have the reform yet, that is slightly worrying. It's for one unit and we don't have the prime units 
for reform yet. So it might not work quite as well. I think this is about when we have to migrate to a higher floor. Don't want the Ember Drain next turn. Old Braces saved the train yard there. It is. Can't kill the bomb anyways. Finally, we found our call card. That doesn't die. Uh, are we okay with this setup? Not really. A lady goes on the bottom. We get the first set of burnout here on the top. That kills the frontliner here, deals some damage to the Lelos. And because we now have the hello drippings, I'm gonna put Lady up to the top floor immediately. And we should have the win here. Not even close. The bottom deck reform is rough. But, you know, these are two of the strongest units in the game. Paraffin and Fossil Essence is broken. Bounty Stalker, Essence, not so much, but just the unit itself. Great. The Essence can also be very easily broken, but I'm gonna go with Paraffin and Fossil. Paraffin and Fossil has probably the most abusable essence. I'm gonna go with Draw. Um, I think what we do here is we fuse the Paraffin Enforcer onto the lady. Later we, we are gonna try to find the multi-strike for her. Uh, Trinsic would have been nice on the reform, but... Cut the train steel out, they are gonna get in our way otherwise. Now the question is, do we dupe the Lady of the House or do we dupe the Hallowed Halls? I think we should dupe the Hallowed Halls. Definitely keep the keep uh, staying on the burnout path. If you want to lean hard into Hallowed Halls, don't forget about Consume Seraph. That is a very good advice. Well, that ordering change sucked, but I think we will be all right. I hope so. Do I need these anymore? No.
That draft can actually kill stuff. Drag, rather. Is not gonna be enough for this one. But we have to reform. Actually, we don't. We didn't play it. Maybe we take fifth. We take twenty-five gold in damage here. I guess trying to prevent that. His wealth. There we go. And we should have the boss on the bottom floor pretty easily. Actually, no. Not yet. Because of the burnout. On Rector Flicker. Wait. Why didn't I play Hallowed Halls? I thought I had one more Ember. Oops. Big mistake right there. That will cost us a lot of money, but luckily no score. Stupid mistake. I hope that doesn't uh, come back to bite us. It's resin removal though, right? We don't need a third Hallowed Halls, that is too much. We go for some unit upgrades finally. I'm gonna go with quick on the lady. Large stone, no. Let's see. Hello, Holtz can carry you hard. I would have tried finding holdover on the last ring as well. Yeah, I know we can carry you hard. Maybe I'm underestimating it still. If that's even possible. Like, I know it's a broken good card. But maybe can do more than I give it credit for. Maybe we want to start with it in our opening hand. You know what? These drags actually matter. I will just throw all the small upgrades on them. It's not the only wing con, yeah. <laughs> Multi strike, I think we can do. That will work out. I will consume one of these. Ah, Ember Drain again. I hope that was worth it. Kinda need to let the lady die. We need more damage here. Uh, this this one will actually survive. This is gonna be a difficult fight. Actually, we might be better off not to let the da lady die. Keep our floor split. 
might just be the case. This guy is gonna be pretty brutal to us. We can get another good hit in right there with this drag. Another expensive fight for me. <laughs> Bring back a drag. Although with the sweep it doesn't really matter. It's just prep work. Prep work for later. When we hallowed halls on the middle floor. That was a bit disappointing. Not a big deal. We don't need to take the risk with Hellout Halls, especially not because we already win. I would like some Rage Relics. <laughs> In case Divinity. I will pick it up. Sometimes helps. Crushing Demise. That is very good. Soul Crushing Guilt. Yeah, I will take a daze. That might save us a lot of money sometime. Pyrestone housing, faulty loader. Cave of a thousand eye. Good thing this doesn't work in out of combat. I will take Memorial Fund. That funds my Golden Wall. I will take the money. We will need that later. We are onwards to Fell. Fell might require a bit of a different setup. We can't right, uh, go on, right for the bottom setup. At least I don't think so. I think we are best. Best bet is setting up in the middle. Make sure we kill the statue first. I will take the Ember Drain and set up these tracks on the top. Should have gone off well, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I think we are pretty far away from a flying kill with this setup. Enough Ember Drain. Let's move that stuff to the bottom. Uh, maybe should have killed that backliner there. Because now it's gonna be more difficult to do so. We can pay for it with money. That is a good flaw. Losing the rage sucks though. That is the sly problem we're having right now. Yeah, we are losing our rage.
That's the downside of Hallowed Halls when you go for a build like that. Maybe I shouldn't overuse it. Forty health on that guy, really? You had to. Top floor would have been correct to set up on. Oh, definitely. We actually took damage. Ah. Can we afford to reset the rage? No, not really. Should have played it on the top floor, the Hello Tours. I made a few key mistakes this fight. But I feel like this is a seed that's uh, challenging enough for the other players as well. That they might not just easily win this. We don't play that draft, uh, drag. Resin removal against top floor and bot rain feels good. Yeah, that is quite a nice use case. I'm a bit surprised this doesn't win. That should win, right? Mmm. Skip. Do we take the extra capacity? I think so. Yeah, that was too close for comfort. Large stone again. I keep seeing those. Our oh, drags are quite important still. Oh, that event is amazing. How more rage? Rage, probably. Damage shield buff. I think we go with. We go with heal. And descend is what we want. Uh, I would have preferred ascend, but if that's not available. I will take that value stone. Nothing more than that right now. Heal over attack. Uh, I feel like we might sometimes need that. Like, sometimes we have to rely on their... Hmm. On them surviving the hits. Oh, now you use the melee weakness. And the quick on the uh, on the lady was definitely not a great call.
Definitely not my best uh, idea. I feel like I've backed myself into a corner. Because this wave is not going down. We we are gonna lose most of our money to this. I have a pretty good idea of where I went wrong with this deck. Or what my uh, wrong decisions were. <sighs> Come on. Uh, let's see. Any damage we do against you is great. Mm. I feel like we're about to lose this. Our drags are in the wrong at the wrong place because we need to react. Maybe we just have to take the bullet here. Lose most of our gold. So we can actually deal with the boss. Well, the boss will be fine, I think. Just that we don't have enough hits for the waves. That is our problem. This one is actually dazed. Only gonna hit for about when twenty. So the self mutilation is the better play, and we're taking damage again. We need more hits, we need more, we need a draft. Uh, but we don't get any. Motivary is okay. I did survive, yeah, that still matters. I might still get the divinity kill while no one else does. I'll take an ambient charge. Drafts are common, yeah, but there is there was a there is uh, the sacrificial resurrection. I think it's called. That could take care of that problem. That is another hit, and faster rage scaling. That does make a sizable difference. Let's get the train steward out. And echo breaks need to go as well. Wax or snuff for this late. <laughs> Extreme stone intrinsic. I don't feel comfortable taking on too many more shots. How are we gonna deal with the uh, divinity?
Ah, uh, one grindstone helps a little. Well, first, let's deal with Seraph. We don't have too many spells to purge, uh, to consume, but that might not be the problem. That is a great starting hand. Almost messed up right there. That one consumes anyways. We might need the damage on you later, but for now, let's buff these up. I hate the fact that this purifier survived and that we can kill this guy. Can't play ambient charge either. But at least our bottom floor is getting quite ready for fighting. Yeah. We're out of money, but I don't think we took damage there. It sucks, but we have to consume the hell out of here. Stop this floor. Yeah, that is not the hand I wanted to see. That is half of Seraph down. I consumed my wicker place. I went and did it. We have to draw into Hallowed Halls now. No Hallowed Halls, we lose to Seraph. I wanna at least try to get the Divinity. I wanna at least try. I'm probably out with this performance. <sighs> well, I guess that confirms it. I'm not a very good player under stress. I can get by with like Hell Rush. 
<laughs> I probably need more hell rush training to to help with that. Yeah, I'm definitely better on my own terms. That that sums it up pretty well. I feel like we did the best play every turn. Definitely feels a lot like we did the best play every turn. Keep that in the deck. Seraph accumulating these uh, light wings. It's not nice. Not what I like to see. I'm trying to save my money here. Is that my last hellout horse? It is not. I haven't consumed any yet. That's what I thought. We are taking some damage. Well, rather losing some money to these. Oh, I could have Soul Crushing Guild on the top floor, I think. Yeah, we're taking some damage here, but that doesn't matter anymore. Our score is gone anyways. We have the almost kill here. We need that for next turn. And then we kill on the top floor. So we can actually fight the Winnity at least. It's not great, but... Some people are dying, so we might still finish top two. If we can beat Divinity, that is. No drafts in the opening hand, that sucks. And the damage shielder, guys. We had to take one out there. Yeah. I noticed that as well.
I think we have to hell out halls here. Just to get more units out. Well, that that apparently just killed us. That might have just killed us. That was very un ineffective. Okay, I think that saves us from dying immediately. But we will probably die to the next wave. I mean, that helps. That helps a little. And now we're on the floor we don't want to be. Don't think restarting does anything for your score in the last battle. Yeah, that is true. We, we don't restart anymore. We are past that point. We honorously die to the divinity. But if Confucius dies before us... Who knows? Who knows what happens if Confucius dies before us? <laughs> Yeah, let's see how the others did. Oh, Bangru, Bangru is up, was out really early. Took damage in quite a few fights. I think we performed better than them at least. Sleepy Bear Jake depends on how many restarts he did. Took damage in two fights, three fights, four fights, five fights. Died to divinity just like us. Uh, we might still be in this. I only took damage to four fights. So if he restarted one fight. And one of them was the Sarah fight. So maybe we still beat Sleepy Bear Jake. Maybe we might even be first here. Only Seraph. I didn't restart on TLD. It didn't matter. Zero score fights, yeah, that that is true, yeah. That was definitely one of the rougher seats. Um, I think if we if we have ta had taken draft as our first unit, as our first pick, we might have been very well on our way to victory there. A draft was pretty much what we were missing here. Or anything that could just like get us extra hits. Okay, Confucius just died on the fight before Seraph, I think. So, looks like we might still be in. Yeah, and Confucius had several restarts, so they lost a lot more points than I did. I <laughs> gotta work on looking into the future. <laughs> Maybe.
but yeah so looks like i made it into the uh <laughs> last round unless confucius manages to actually come back from his uh being at one pile health on ring seven and go to beat divinity with like 160 shards or something <laughs> That will be something. Uh, nope. Looks like they are out. Oh, and out of time as well. Mm, okay. That was a tough run. I feel like that run relied a bit too much on finding the multi-strike for the uh, Lady of the House. But I really had trouble getting more hits in. Maybe I should have gone with a, a more with a build more focused around... Uh, well, we got the Crushing Demise pretty late. Crushing Demise could have been something we build around to work. That was certainly an option. I think the Fates first blade pick was still pretty decent. But we needed more units. I think I I should have tried to dupe my Lady of the House. But without the multi-strike that was a hard call to make. Yeah. But I mean, in the end... We were successful in that way. We managed to top two. That's a big bounty stalker. <laughs> That's a really big bounty stalker. Yeah, that, that was my problem. I should have realized that and went with Bounty Stalker instead because when I picked up the uh, Rage guy, I already had the first Hallowed Halls and the option to dupe it. Uh, yeah, like uh, Sleepy Bear went with Hallowed Halls with Holdover and the multi striking Bounty Stalker and still didn't do enough. Um. But it's still the problem is it's just two hits. Two hits that will kill anything. Quick. Just destroys anything. But then. What after that? Wexel's not for as well by the way. Blank pages? Well I didn't have enough pack charts to get it so. I would have gotten it if I had enough, I think. Interesting. If that if that strategy also failed, I'm a bit so yeah, that that was really a hard run. That was a very very hard run. Blank pages. Blank pages can mess with your reform pool though. Yeah, I guess. Looks like Confusius has to abandon the run because they're out of time. But yeah, that was that was a crazy seed. I feel like I'm getting the hard ones this time. So it looks like me and Sleepy Bear will be advancing to the uh, final round, where the top two will qualify for the semifinals tomorrow. Um, we are facing off against. 
don't know that yet. They didn't announce the results from the other group yet. Well, they didn't announce our results either. Hey, can everyone jump into room one? We're going to, in the meantime, tell people return to get the uh, results from the other one. Yeah, I just need to get the results for uh, Confucius and then we're done. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, chart for I everyone was, here. I was rooting for you to win, Never Nathaniel, so you could help me score live. <laughs> <laughs> It's he was fine. also simultaneously rooting for everyone to lose because egg. Don't let him deceive you like this. <laughs> uh, so there go. There's the current bracket updated for everyone to see. Uh, be updated soon once we get the results from the other match. And okay, so uh, Sal Link, Sleepy Bear, Jake are the two that will make it out of um, the elimination bracket. In in that order? Yes. No, uh, Sleepy Bear Jake first. Sorry, Sleepy Bear Jake and then Sal Link. Yeah, it was close. They won. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then Ben Gru, Confucius. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. Good runs, though, guys. Um, really, really tough seed, honestly. Like, just looking at how people were trying to build, like, really brutal seed. I don't know if you have any comments on it, Karius, based on your viewing, but... Oh, uh, yeah, that was rough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw, oh, the, uh, saw the Paraffin Enforcer build coming in there, but there wasn't really, like, a solid defensive plan in the uh, runs that I saw Nate mulling over. Um, so it seemed like maybe waves, uh, kill floors had died out. Enemy waves, that would be my guess. I mean, nobody, nobody in this mat, in this round, not a single person killed divinity. Yeah. So I mean, just brutal seeds. I think if you take, I could have, I, could have, I took that stupid artifact that gave me heroes, and I, I, I could have, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, serious. I took the artifact that gave me heroes, and I was hollow halls, hollow hallsing them, and it screwed up. Like it was giving me like. Keep heroes instead of my big strong bounty stalker. So I totally trolled myself taking that artifact. Yeah, I did the same. I trolled myself taking the. Uh, uh, we had the art, the one where you get the three artifacts that are crap, and then they become good. And yeah. I took, I took the damage shield. Oh. The damage shield, that's the worst no. Yeah. Uh, that what does it give it. you? That's the only one I don't know. What does it give it you when you win? Piercing. Your spells have spells ah, have piercing. Okay. It's really good, but that wait. The, oh. Know, the, I, I was so close, five guys. I had a, I had a, I had a line, I had a line <laughs> and then uh, I don't know what I did. I RNG'd my way out of my line and just screwed it. So I, I was like, I was like literally within one hit of surviving, and uh, I had so I had to do perfect clears. I had to actually do a little flawless or I die, and just could not get the line to work. Spent thirty minutes on it, just that one ring. Yeah. It would have been hilarious if you like figured it out and then you just ran out of time in ring five or ring yeah. six or something. <laughs> yeah that was a very uh possible situation there hmm